What's going on everyone? Welcome back for your daily dose of MSG. We are here again today with Empyrean Galactic Survival and we are back on Omnicrom, the new planet we just came to last episode and I've got some changes for you today. So to start with, I have ditched the hover tank that I was using. I wanted to find something a little bit heftier because apparently on planets like this and others you can get attacked by capital vessels from, you know, coming in and attacking you and I did I got attacked right after I finished recording I got attacked uh, on the after last episode and the once I finally shot them down uh, I had to go through do a lot of repairing I ended up having to take the hover tank out use the artillery turret on it to help shoot it down but I got them down and they despawned which I looked up and there's a lot of people having that same problem where they'll shoot it down shoot down the air capital vessel the patrol vessel and they'll end up despawning uh, right after they shoot it down, others will go in and put a core in and won't be able to then, you know, uh, break down any of the blocks. So there's still some issues with it, but I decide I need a new tank vessel and that's what we've got here. So this thing, this massive construction is called the Thunder Tank. And let me just make sure I got my lighting. You can see it's got, uh, docking pads on the bottom. It's got them on the back too, so you can back up and dock if you want to do that way and let's go inside now it is fully decked out inside i mean i've got cargo boxes over here there's another seat over there there's ammo boxes there i've got i went ahead and added a cargo box here just because i wanted to place that i know this is where i have some supplies and i still gotta do some re uh, organizing with this i got a constructor there got a constructor there if you go here i have got two armor lockers right there i have got two fuel tanks there two more fuel tanks there and two more fuel tanks there so six fuel tanks total on this place i've got fridges up here i've got cargo boxes up here this thing is decked out and you go outside and it has a panel on each side with these shutters to access well here's an o2 station and a cargo box i think the other one is a fridge and a cargo box if i'm not mistaken so building this kind of got me on a kick as far as looking at some new vessels so i've got this built took down the hover tank i also went ahead and decided i wanted to build a vessel to get around the planet quickly mainly to go to my uh, little hydrogen generators and everything over there not having to take like one of the SVs or something like that so I ended up going with this thing and I'm going to put links to all of these down below in the description but this is I looked at the bush cat and this and I'm going with the armored car because it actually has a turret on top just a minigun turret but it still has a turret so I can leave it there to protect me against any of the uh you know predators that come after me while I'm trying to collect my hydrogen bottles I went ahead and built the gladius now it's funny because here it, the lighting in the picture makes it look like a darker almost black color it's actually just a uh, like a navy blue a dark blue uh, but it's actually a really nice vessel it's got a bunch of weapons on it you see rocket launchers uh, rail guns and the regular uh, mini guns so it is very well armed it's got a good set of devices on it. i mean tons of stuff it's got a constructor but everything is well protected hard to get to which makes it perfect for fighting i have also built two bases and i'm going to take you there and show you these these are those turret bases and i'll let me go with this one that is the uh flak cannon version of it and this one right here is the plasma cannon version and all it is is you go in the door it's just a big cargo uh, ammo box there you got you know use p to access the power and everything and just fill it up and these things have been working like crazy because i've had drones coming from this direction repeatedly and that's okay because there is a drone base that way and one thing i've noticed i actually uh, to test out the hover tank and test out the gladius I duplicated my game save so I could go and play around with them. And if you go over here, there's a crash capital vessel, there's an armory, and right around here is a drone base. But it will not show on my map. It will not detect, like it's got some kind of new thing 
that it is blocking me from being able to scan it. And I haven't seen that yet. Okay, now one other thing that has happened this week on this game is I encountered radiation fog that I have not seen before and I can't be outside once it takes effect because I start getting like uh, the radiation ticks. It goes up like nine, uh, I think at the highest. So I've been, uh, I've had a couple of cases where I had to stay inside the capital vessel and protected uh, while that was happening. And it also wasn't just the fog. I actually had like crazy lightning storms. I was sitting there like trying over and over again, trying to capture a good picture uh, a good screenshot of the lightning hitting because it was just like at some point it's just non-stop almost with the lightning and I never could do it but now we are here at research outpost alpha that's on this planet same as we have one on the air planet and as you can see we've got another one of these snake statues sitting here you know from a uh, I guess age of Conan you know it's one of the ones that they worship in there we're gonna dig around here and get some supplies I'm basically just gonna empty this place out real quick and see what all I can get and then we're gonna keep moving because I'm not gonna worry so much about breaking them down right now I can do that later and off screen I'm gonna get the supplies off of them right now and then come back and start breaking them down after we go and explore the planet right now my goal is to oh my goal is to basically clear everything except the drone base i'm gonna get it all the way down to just the drone base base at the end and mainly because i looked at it i went there and tested against it and it is heavily defended it's gonna be a challenge uh but secondly i want to keep those drone attacks going so we're gonna clear everything else we can and leave that area for last Okay, I've cleared everything I can from this location without taking it over and replacing the core. And let's just see what I got here. You can see all the food stuff I've got. And then here is the first cargo box full of supplies. And then here's the second cargo box with everything I got. Plus, I still got this medium armor and radiation boost I forgot to take out. So, yeah, I got a ton of stuff from here. I'm going to have to run back to the capital vessel and drop it off and then go find something else to uh take a look at try to pick a fight with some drones okay so here we are i've dropped everything off at the capital vessel and we're coming up on the abandoned factory and the radar station now if you remember before i've, I've seen this stuff there is no defense turrets at the uh factory there's just the drones but there was turrets over here at the radar station so we're gonna have to take those down real quick. I need to see where they're firing from. There we go, there's one. Now when I tested this out, I learned one thing quick. These rocket launchers are great for taking down the turrets like that. Oh, oh, I got enemy troops coming. Apparently they don't like me shooting their stuff down and blowing up their turrets. I need to take these guys out anyway. Ha ha ha! Mini guns are so good for taking these guys out. Whoa! Who's shooting at me? Oh great, now I'm being shot at. I guess by the turrets over here. And it looks like, uh... Oh, I was getting a little bit of daylight was messing with my uh, night vision a bit all right there we go no more turret shooting me in the back oh it's a uh, automatic sentry gun I guess shooting at me yep it's automatic sentry gun shooting at me Apparently, it's got a bunch of these assassins hanging around here, though. And are, is that them making that noise? Because I bet there's some nightmares inside. And there's clearly, it sounds like, some drones inside, too. 
I am more interested, I think, in checking out the radar station instead of this. The one door, and that's an automatic armored door, so my weapons are not going to do anything to it that I have. You know, I could go and get my rocket launcher, my handheld one. But why bother with that when I can just blow it up this way? Alright, what do we have? It's about to attack me. Oh, oh. Oh, I think I just made something mad. Yeah, I see shadows moving over there. Oh! God, what are you doing right up in my face? Ah! He was right in my face, not even shooting me. He just kind of got there and stood there. Oh, another one. Great, I don't have enough ammo for this, I don't think. Oh, whoa. What was that? I just got shot with like a laser rifle or something, I think. Oh, I hope I'm not getting blocked in. That sounds like it's like right behind me every time. I'll gather up a bunch of food from you guys. Oh, an alien riding. I haven't seen that in the air places yet. Maybe that's from a new update or maybe it's just spawned in this location and not the others. Oh, crap. Right as I'm reloading, dude. Sneaky. Yes, yeah, sneaky. Oh, rah. That must be why it hit me. With that laser blast. Oh, that's something, you. Turret robot. Oh, and it sounds like there's a bunch more of them. Uh, you, sir, I'm taking you right there like that. Oh, I got drones on the way to attack the base. They're not going to be able to do anything. They're going to get shot down way before they get there. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's more of those guys in there, plus another one of those uh, turret robots in there. Is there. Anything else? There's upstairs, and then there's this right here, which is an automatic armored door. So I will have to get my rocket launcher, my handheld one, and bring it back with me. And oh, oh. Um, surely that's not taking that much damage. Uh, apparently I'm not going to be able to get to that without the rocket launcher. So I'm going to need some other supplies from my other ship. And since I don't have the rocket launcher, I don't have any turrets here I need to worry about now. I can get my other small vessel, the one that's set up for hauling a lot of stuff. And bring it back. Plus, I've got drones on the way. Might as well go and get some stuff from them when they get shot down, right? Oh, man. I'm getting here just in time to see the drones getting shot down by the flak turret. And it looks like they got even closer than they've ever gotten before. I don't remember them getting that close before. Usually, they're right up there in the mountain ridge. And they got right up on the base. Oh, wow. 
They have never, never gotten this close before. Okay, here we go. We are about to blow that armored door open. I think. Surely a rocket is enough to take out that armored door. Let me see. Yes, it is. It's just taking a lot of shots. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rise, I run out of ammo. And it sounded like I was. Ah! Oh, he popped around the corner trying to get me quick. Yeah, let's take that uh, spawn pad out. I don't care so much about harvesting like just sitting here and you know coming back and farming these guys anymore. Oh whoa 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 well, how come I just suddenly start getting shot and I'm just standing there and not doing anything different I start getting shot for some reason. Ah so there's a shutter door there so you can get access to it. As long as you are the right faction. Well, I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'm just going to blow this up. If it will blow up. Apparently, I'm going to use all my rockets up just trying to destroy stuff around here. There we go. About time. Rare container. So, we've got canned vegetable, canned meat, gold, large ammo box. How is that stuff rare? Like... How is any of that considered rare? Whoops, I blew up the console. And I blew up the container as well, but at least it gave me the little drop box with the supplies. Apparently, the shutter doors are better than the alien containers and heavy weapon upgrade kit okay at least i got something that would be considered rare out of those containers so now all right maybe some of them will come towards the door and let me like kill them that way oh i am a super shot with the sniper rifle now I swear that I saw like a robot over here earlier. I mean, I did see a shadow. It looked like it'd be a robot, but maybe not. And there is a cargo container hidden in there. I'm just going to wait about those until I take out and replace the core and just start dismantling the whole place. Okay, so the very top level, all they have are the bat crawler things. That's all they decide to have up here to guard this. I love how this bug still isn't fits. If you do this while you're reloading, it doesn't level you out afterwards. Um, dude... Alright, but we've taken out the radar station. I have taken down the drones protecting the abandoned factory. It's pretty much obviously the same as the abandoned mine type thing. I can hear those nightmare creatures in there. So I've got two places to kind of mess around this week. I may go ahead and wait and save the abandoned factory for next week so you can see what all we find in there. But as far as this radar station goes, we're done for today. I'm going to go ahead and 
start tearing the place apart. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart like completely uh, just yet. I may save that for later after I've got some other installations cleared out. But I am going to swap the core out, start getting some of the air containers, see what I can find here, and just, you know, continuing getting some stuff going on the uh, Omnicron. But thanks for watching. You know, we'll have some more stuff. And again, if you like the, uh, you know, the new small vessel, the hover tank designs, all that, I will have links for them below. I will always keep links to whatever it is I'm using in that episode below. So you can go in the workshop, find those designs, and use them yourself. And if you like seeing these new designs, let me know because I've actually been considering looking at a uh, featurette type series for this where I go and just do the workshop designs and, you know, go and download them in a, another world that's more of a creative world and just take a look at them and see what looks good, what functions well, and just kind of do a, an expo thing on it. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But as far as today's episode, we're done here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. You also hit subscribe and that little notification bell to make sure you get notified every day during the week when I'm uploading my videos. You also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up with everything I'm posting. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.